Well, guys, I am taking out the brand new 2022 Nightster from Harley. With riding Sportsters, I wanted to see what the new bike has to offer. And this one has their 975 Revolution Max engine in it, pushing 90 horsepower and 70 foot pounds of torque at a 12 to 1 compression ratio. That is a lot on a light bike. And it has a lot more features than my bike does. It has ABS brakes, drag torque slip control. You know, those are some great features for newer riders. The bike even comes with a six speed to lower the RPMs while you're on the highway. So they're not using the old hoop style frame on this bike. Instead, the powertrain is used as a stress member to significantly reduce the weight on this bike which is actually stiffening up the chassis. And lastly, this bike has three different modes. Road mode, which is your daily driving, sport mode to have the most fun, and rain mode, which is pretty explanatory. Well, I'm gonna dive right into this bike and give you guys my honest opinion of what I think about it being the first time riding this bike. thing do something go you know I mean I got a 1275 in my Sportster but this is a completely different style of engine you know I'm not really used to be a hunched over it kind of makes me feel like a crotch rocket right off the bat you know I like more of a laid back kind of bike but you know <laughs> Yeah, and this is the first time being out on this course, so I'm really having to watch for the arrows of where I'm going, you know, and getting used to the bike. <laughs> Whee! Alright, let's switch into sport mode. There we go. Woo! Holy crap! This is definitely different. I mean, it is quick. A little quiet for my liking, but quick. You know, being hunched over like this though, I would not really want to try to do a long distance ride around town, no problem. Okay, there's an arrow. Ooh. They are marked pretty good though, so that way I don't get lost. You know, another thing I do like about this, this bike reminds me so much more of the, the traditional Sportster. I mean, just the appearance of it. You know, when the other one came out, eh, I was kind of hesitant on it because of the look. It didn't remind me that traditional Sportster look of it, but I'm really happy the way they redesigned the Nightster. You know, I would have to do something with the bars, you know, so I could sit up a little bit higher and not feel so crotch rocket on this thing. But I can tell the handling of this thing, leaning it over into the turns, is absolutely awesome.
you know, even though it's got mid controls on it, you know, with the bar pulled back, I can sit up a little bit higher, you know, be in a little bit more natural position. That and these mirrors. You know, I will say, the best mirrors I like are the stock mirrors that came on my bikes. I have not changed those out. I, I just love them. I mean, for a mirror that I'm gonna use, I can see everything in the mirror. You know, the ones that are on the FXR right now, <laughs> I have to really kind of look to see what's behind me because they're so small. I don't know, if I'm gonna put a mirror on a bike, you know, I want something that I can see out of. You know, yeah, there's a lot of different mirrors out there, you know, for style, but I think I'll take functionality over style. I mean, leave down in the comments below what you think about them. And if you've ever ridden the new Nyster, I want to hear your comments on it. I really do. You know, from running the FXR to ride at Boss Forester, you know, for quickness, this thing definitely gets up and moves. I will say that. Oh, here comes the turn. Or turn coming up, yep. Lean, 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 lean. And it's got good braking. I will say that. Dang, I'm really enjoying this bike. All except for the handlebars. Real easy clutch. I mean, the clutch is effortless on this thing. Shoot. I mean, you go pull in some clutches from the old days, they're stiff as they can be. Definitely on my sports steer, that clutch ain't easy. And I got easy pull levers on it. And the cool thing about riding this bike is I'm up here in Rogers, Arkansas on some very curvy roads. I mean, what other bet, what other way than to test this bike out? I mean, I don't want to take a bike out and just do the straight line. You know, that ain't fun. I mean, shoot, I could get on the interstate and just run it straight all day long, but, you know, that ain't fun for me. I like to get out of here on these curvy roads, and that's, I guess, the best way to really test the bike out. You know, definitely this route that I'm taking. I mean, I got some straights where I can rock it up and see how it'll accelerate. And I got some turns so I can see how the handling does. So, very well laid out course. buying a car you know you want to put on the interstate or somewhere where you can hit that accelerator and see how it does you know when you're just strictly driving right around town and you can't see how that car is going to ride and you purchase it and then you take it off the lot and then you go get on the interstate and you try to accelerate and it has no on to it and you hate it well, you're kind of stuck with it, or you lost a whole load of money. I mean, I think that's the exact same way with a bike. Go, definitely when you got days like this, where you can come out and demo bikes, and test ride them, and do it. Because you'll find out real quick what bike is a good match for you. You know, this bike, I really wouldn't mind putting it in the shop. I really wouldn't. I mean, this thing handles really, really nicely. 
Now, I haven't hit any, like, true big bumps, but, you know, to test out how that's going to feel. But stopping power, being able to lean this thing over, the acceleration, it's all there. So, very well-planned bike from Harley. You know, I probably get some comments, it's like, oh, you're a Harley lover. It's like, I love Harleys for the look and the way they sound, but I have nothing against other bikes. So, don't get me wrong on that. Hey, if you ride two wheels, that's all that matters. I don't really care if it's a Honda Grom. You know, you see the world in a whole different way being out on two wheels. And you meet some of the nicest people and make good friends doing it. Oops. Yep, almost missed my turn. Now, even being 5'6", I do feel a little cramped on this thing. So, if you're a tall person, I really don't know how you're going to feel on this thing. So, now, as far as options on four controls, I have not looked into that. pretty sure they make some for it which wouldn't be a bad thing if you're a tall person but guys I'm gonna leave you with that I'm gonna go take this bike back and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>